Hello, and welcome to our company, NDT Technologies. We are wire rope inspection specialists and we have 41 years of experience researching, developing and manufacturing wire rope inspection instrumentation. Based on our long and successful track record and proud of our unique accomplishments, we can speak with authority about our very specialized field of expertise. Next, please let us introduce our company. First, some background information on, and an introduction to the field of wire rope non-destructive examination, NDE, which is our area of expertise. Wire ropes are complex machines with a great many moving parts. They are safety critical as well as single points of failure that require attention, skilled operators, careful maintenance, inspection, and lubrication. Furthermore, modern wire ropes, such as multi-strand and IWRC ropes, deteriorate internally with no externally visible signs. This has caused rope failures in the past. Therefore, wire ropes are often discarded long before the end of their useful service life. This means that, literally, tens of millions of dollars worth of expensive and perfectly good wire rope is discarded annually. At the same time, this wasteful and overcautious approach by no means assures wire rope safety. On the other hand, traditional preventative maintenance and replacement schedules typically are based on some form of in-service visual inspection combined with educated or blind guesswork. This situation makes magnetic rope testing, MRT, indispensable. If at all possible, MRT should be complemented by visual examinations and information about the rope's operating conditions and history including that of its predecessors. At NDT Technologies, we have made unprecedented progress, and our MRT technology is now head and shoulders above that of our competitors. We are ushering in a new era of magnetic wire rope testing with unrivaled hardware and software for the precise and rational non-destructive examination NDE, of wire ropes. Please follow our technological history, our milestones and achievements. Thank you. Here is NDT Technologies profile. We were established in 1980 in South Windsor, Connecticut. Our areas of technical expertise are, control systems, motion control, power electronics, gas pipeline inspection, for stress corrosion cracking. From the beginning, since 1980, we have focused on magnetic non-destructive examination slash evaluation, NDE, methods, especially on magnetic testing, MRT, of wire ropes and the NDE of high-value offshore ropes. Our history, milestones, and achievements. A timeline of our research and development efforts and achievements is presented in the following table. State-of-the-art MRT equipment allows the quantitative evaluation of wire rope loss of metallic cross-sectional area, LMA, and of localized flaws such as broken wires, single and in clusters, inner strand nicking, and corrosion pitting. During our 39 plus years of research and development efforts, we improved the inspection accuracy of our MRT instrumentation. Here we define increasing stages of accuracy, as going from mere defect detection to measurement, to accurate measurement, to defect identification and then, to continuous rope monitoring. For the following discussion, we use our, quote unquote, accuracy meter in order to indicate our progress. Some 40 years ago, when we started up our company, we first developed a very basic LF signal. Remarkably, all our West European competitors never progressed beyond this rudimentary stage. To this day, they are still using exclusively this now obsolete, and unreliable signal. By 1985 we had developed our, LMA, signal for measuring a rope's loss of metallic cross-sectional area. This LMA signal is a considerable step up of inspection accuracy. By 1987, we had developed our echo cancellation algorithm. With this algorithm, we can now offer a quote-unquote, true LMA signal. This high-fidelity signal is completely noise-free with unmatched resolution and accuracy. Starting in 1998, we developed our proprietary wire rope roughness, WRR, algorithm, which allows a reliable quantitative estimate of the number of external and internal broken wires, single and in clusters, including inner strand nicking, and the severity of corrosion pitting. This algorithm is still evolving. Presently, we are extending it for the MRT of rope end terminations, such as sockets, etc. In 2010 we started developing our continuous rope monitoring system, CRMS. This system is completely non-contacting, 
with a significant air gap between the rope and the inside of the sensor head. This non-contacting feature is required to avoid potential damage to the sensor head, and, or the rope. The air gap also avoids problems that can be caused by a rope lubricants or contamination. This system was successfully installed on an abandoning and recovery, A, and, R, winter of a pie play vessel. Over the past few years we developed our, new generation, MRT systems for the inspection of high-value offshore ropes with diameters up to 165 mm, lengths in excess of 2,000 meters, and costs in the seven-figure range. Magnetic Non-Destructive Examination NDE, of the world's largest wire ropes This includes Our LMA650 system for ropes with diameters up to 165 mm Our LMA550 system for ropes with diameters up to 140 mm Our LMA450 system for ropes with diameters up to 120 mm And Our LMA300 system for ropes with diameters up to 83 mm our Rope Guardian brand Continuous Wire Rope Monitoring System, CRMS. Continuous Wire Rope Monitoring Systems must be non contacting to prevent damage to the rope and, or, the sensor head, and to avoid sensor head contamination by lubricants and debris. A considerable air gap must exist between sensor head and rope, as shown. As always, we are vigorously working on several ongoing research and development projects. We invite you to take a look behind the scenes. Please watch the following preview videos. Without going into too much detail, we just want to acquaint you with some of our present development work on hardware and software, including our handy proprietary algorithms. Our goal is to enhance the safe use of wire ropes. Our focus is on magnetic rope testing, MRT, and all related issues. Our objective is to make non-destructive wire rope examinations, NDE, including MRT combined with visual inspections, reliable and rational. Right now, we are working hard on our computer-aided rope evaluation, our acronym, NDT Care. Software, including the associated algorithms. Especially, we are making great strides in taking the mystery out of MRT chart interpretation. Please be assured, with our hardware, our algorithms and our computer-aided rope evaluation software, MRT chart interpretation is completely rational and reliable. It's neither witchcraft nor rocket science. Have a look. Watch the following videos. Hello. In this demonstration, we're going to try to show what a typical inspection might look like. What we have over here is our 175 uh, L machine with a laptop and a DAC 05. What I'm going to start with is what we call a pre calibration. We have a calibration rod that we know to be 6.3% of the test rope that we have set up here, which is a 5 8 rope. I'm going to fire up our rope view software. which is currently set up to be a wire Ethernet connection. So that is the default. I'm going to hit OK on that. Press the end button twice to get to our calibration screen. I'm going to hit reset, collect data, and I'm going to insert our calibration rod and remove it. And press collect data again. Down at the bottom, we hit the auto equalize LF function. And we can go ahead and save that. And at the top graph here, I'm going to grab our high value cursor to the top of the signal. And the low value over to our low, low portion of the signal. And we want to call that 6.5% or 6.3% rather. And we're going to save that game. And simply hit page log out. If we hit reset here, 
and insert our calibration rod just to verify. You should see, and I'm pretty sure it's hard to see on this video, but it does correspond here to 6.3% on the graph. So I'm going to go ahead and disconnect the computer in the DAC 05 so I can mount the sensor head onto the rope. just our uh, test loop that we built. It's a piece of 5 8 rope that's a continuous loop. And we have the ability to change its speed and the direction of which way it's going to go. typically recommend doing is using the handles is a, is a good point to secure the machine. Um, we've got just a simple ratchet strap here. And I'm just going to tie around The distance counter wheel has a small uh, metal pin in it to hold it up. And go ahead and lower that. It will. It's spring tension, so it will mount itself right to the uh, right to the rope. And as the rope travels through, this wheel will, will count the speed and the distance traveled. I'll go ahead and turn on our machine now. And as you can see the wheel will spin with the rope. I'll go ahead and connect our computer in DAC 05 back up. Turn, that, turn this on and set it to Ethernet. Fire up our Roku software. We'll press the reset button. Now, what most customers would like to do is insert the calibration rod just so they have a reference on the graph. And I do it three times. And we can start start testing our, our rope and in, in uh, doesn't really matter, forward direction or reverse. And hopefully you can see this on the screen, but there is a section of the rope that has a that's welded together. And you'll see that on the graph, right about there, where it shows up on the graph. And there's also another section of rope where we actually inserted an anomaly, so that also gets picked up, and that's right there. We can also vary the speed, so it can be, the, the rope can be paid out at different speeds. Can you slow down? You can stop it and go in the opposite direction now once you've reached the end of the of the rope you're testing. 
What this, what this gives you is the ability to then compare the, the rope in both directions. And so you, you can kind of compare the two and, and see if you get the same anomalies at roughly the same distance. And the very last thing I'd like to show is um, what we refer to as, as metal objects um, that come in close proximity to the sensor head while, while testing. And these are, these will affect the readings, which are um, just test artifacts. Next, analysis of test results using our computer-aided rope evaluation software also referred to by its acronym as NDT-CARE. Hey, hello and welcome to a video uh, describing the use of NDT Care version 4.0. Uh, so the first thing you're going to do when the icon appears on your desktop is you're going to double click it. And please note that this may take, you know, 30 to 45 seconds or so to, to, to load. Uh, you could always hit like your control alt delete function, go to your task manager and, and just you know, make sure you, you know, prove to yourself that you've um, actually clicked that. So here you can see it's come up and um, it hasn't even been 30 seconds yet. So it's it's opening uh, the initial window is here. You can see it, just let it kind of populate. It'll go to full screen and there you go. So now the program has opened and you are ready to go. So um, the first thing we want you to do is go to this analysis setup here in the uh, left corner. Um, here, what you'll do is you'll initially pick your sensor head from the drop-down menu. Um, I'll just say, hey, maybe we have an LMA 250. Um, and then the direction, again, you can either pick forward or reverse. For the most part, you'll probably want forward, but maybe there's an application where you want to show the scan uh, in, in a reverse order. So we'll just give you that feature. And then units, again, could be meters or feet, but again, we'll default to meters. So if, if you want forward and meters, then basically the only thing you have to do is uh, put in the sensor head. Now for the rope diameter, maybe I have a 25 millimeter rope. Um, and then once I click that, notice that open file now appears. All of the other features basically are disabled, uh, but we can now just go ahead and open the file. Okay, um, so I have a couple of uh, test cases here. So I'm gonna pick this uh, one titled uh, Different Speeds. So this was done on our uh, test loop in the back of the um, uh, NDT Care Lab. Uh, notice immediately the file name appears at top. So you can see where um, the file is uh, that you, you had selected. Now this initially, uh, this, this pop-up window appears saying meters per tab. Uh, select the integer number of meters of data to display on this one overview page. Um, so the file opened is 101 meters long. Um, and so, you know, how many meters per tab do I want to show? Kind of a zooming function. I'll just say 25 uh, meters per page should be fine. Um, I'll hit OK. And then um, a second pop-up appears uh, basically telling you that the inspection uh, here was about 205 seconds long. So again, this is sort of a zooming uh, feature. So when you print out your report, you'll, you'll see it in these sort of zoomed segments. I'll just say like 60 seconds per, per scan. Okay, and then so the information comes in. And so just a quick overview, the top plot, uh, just like NDT Care 3 uh, is LMA percent, then I have LF. Then I have uh, rope payout and then rope speed. The x-axis here along the horizontal is the rope distance inspected in meters. And remember that that was a little over 100 meters. Um, up on top, we have um, other tabs. So once you open the file and you answer those, those very simple questions about zooming, um, notice what happens. I immediately on the second tab have my WRR plot, uh, which immediately comes in. Now, once you enter the rope diameter, the lay length appears here, and the slider that we had in, in previous versions auto-populates as well. 
And so if you have seen NDT Care 3, uh, you see that I can move the slider and then you can see features change. So I'll kind of exaggerate it here and you can see all of the different features. So again, if I bring it all the way here um, versus all the way to this rail, right? Much different. So um, again, we're here to help coach you along uh, in terms of what WRR means and, and then maybe how to use this for, per some of the ISO standards, okay? And then finally, there's the histogram, which we'll get into a little bit later in uh, the video. So getting back to this page, um, now we could uh, get to this middle section here, which is you know optional features. And so uh, you can very quickly toggle back and forth. Maybe you wanna display this as a function of time. So notice the, the x-axis now, the horizontal is now a function of time. So you can clearly see the uh, three uh, rod calibration rod inserts into the uh, system here. And then you'll see again the LF, um, the, the payout and the speed as well, uh, more as a function of time. However, the WRR still remains in terms of distance or meters because um, that's what makes sense. It, the WR as a function of time uh, it, it is not as uh, useful. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to distance here. Now, before I do like enhancement or calibration or level adjust, right, you know, I really wanna do that based on the, the calibration rods, right? But they're kind of all jammed in here uh, around zero seconds. So if I go down here to plot display and click zoom, so that basically, remember we did um, about 25 meters uh, per display. So you can see right here, um, we have that 25 meters. So I can more clearly grab uh, the, the calibration rod to, to do the enhancement, post calibration, et cetera. Now to scroll through, all I'd have to do is hit the next. So see here, I'm from roughly zero to, to 25. If I hit next, um, you can see I start back at the 25 and then I go to the roughly the 50. And then all of these are synchronized. So again, if I do, if I scroll over to WRR, it does the same zooming as well. So not only can I see what's going on here, uh, maybe with the, the speed or the payout or, or et cetera, but I can also uh, immediately go over here and, and check that out as well. And same on the histogram. Again, we haven't done the histogram yet, but the same thing, all of these plots are tied together. And then, and then finally we can go next here. And then um, if we just want, we can just reset back to overview at any time. Okay. so. That's that. Now, again, down below, uh, we can save or exit, but, but let's walk through quickly the enhancement. So what I'm gonna do again for, for the enhancement is I'll click this, and then this is just based on the sensor head that we've provided. So as you watch this, as I click the button, you can see that this has kind of sharpened up this, you know, we, we talk about um, echo effects and, and other things, but basically um, it's just one way to kind of clean up the signal a little bit. Okay, so now we've done the enhancement and we only allow the enhancement sort of the one time. So um, then we're gonna do the post calibration. So by we'll now click the zoom function and maybe we want this calibration rod. It's, it looks like it's a little over one and a half percent. So if we click this, maybe um, for the first calibration rod, right? We'll, we'll click sort of the, the, the bottom point and then the top point here. And, and that shows you the present value of LMA. And maybe we want that to be 5% or whatever makes the most sense for you. Um, so we'll hit okay. And that will then scale that. You can see it goes from zero to about that 5%. Now, the next thing we can do is level adjustment. So, you know, here's our zero right here, that solid line. Um, and maybe we want to bring it up just a little bit here. So I'll click level adjustment. And we'll click there and you'll see that it's slightly below zero. So I'm just gonna click um, okay and it will basically shift that curve up a little bit and you can see now that part is right around um, zero. So for right now, we've only done, uh, you know, you, you can only click these once. So um, uh, again, as this is a sort of a, uh, a new version, um, we're looking for feedback and, and comments, um, but for the most part that's done. And then, so I'll go back to overview and you can see uh, the waveform is pretty good from where we want it. Okay, so now again, for WRR, we've, we can move the slider around like we've shown previously. 
set it to a place that we like. Maybe that's where we like it. Now you can also double click this space here and maybe we want to just fine tune it at exactly say 300 uh, uh, millimeters. So that will uh, update that. And then the only thing left is our histogram. So if we click there, uh, what we'll do is we'll set the range. Now these, you'll see I have a cursor here. So I'm going to basically select the range of, of the inspection. So I'll just basically pick you know most of the inspection here because I want to analyze that. And then it'll say, do you want to set a maximum deterioration zone for the LMA? So I'll say yes. And then I'll move my cursor here. Maybe I'm interested in, in anything that is kind of you know below this 5% limit here. So basically anything below that I'll call the red zone, right? Um, so then it says, do you want to set it for um, LF? I'll say yes. And then again, you know, maybe two and a half percent. So it'll do plus and minus two and a half percent. And then finally for WRR, and again, maybe I'll pick the same sort of 5% and above. And again, that highlights. So, so the red might be um, your individual thresholds for you know anything over a certain percentage. Now, I'm not saying 5% is the right number. I'm just kind of using it as, as an example. Okay, so now you can see that the histogram is done. So if I do a quick look, it's like, okay, I have all of my plots where I want them to be. Um, again, I can kind of zoom in on these and, and here what you can see is the histogram right now. Now that I've done that, um, I can kind of, again, scroll through these plots. And you can see now 25, okay, 50, et cetera. So I can scroll through and really say, okay, I really want to to look around this part of the rope again, maybe that's that's an area that I want to um, really focus on. So again, everything looks good now. So we, we're pretty much done. And what I wanna do now is click on save figures. So when I click on that, what it's gonna do, so it goes right to the first tab and what you'll, do, what you'll see is it's starting to scroll through. Um, so first what we do is the overview plot and then we do the, the various zooms. And again, hands off, I'm not doing anything. Um, then it's gonna, you can see it switched over to WRR. First, it, it saves the overview. Then it's going through all of the um, zoom tabs again, based on what we had picked up. Okay. And now it's gonna uh, finally go through the histogram. And it will continue to go through uh, this and, and again right now this is all as uh, a function of a distance again meters on the bottom now what you'll see is it now is going to repeat all of these for uh, inspection um, as a function of time so basically um, this this is and now basically that's done so so please note what we did for time is we only did the first slide because again wrr and the histograms we're not going to do as a function of time but again we're just giving you the option if, if you want to see the lma lf etc now it says do you want to add these uh, images to word microsoft word i'll click yes and what it's going to do is take all of those um uh, screenshots or, or, or photo files if you will and uh, put it into word so off screen, my uh, Microsoft Word just opened and it just closed. So what I'll do before I um, close out of NDT is I am gonna open up my Word. You can see I'm opening up my Word and here is the file. Um, that So I'll go to my view here. I'll do a zoom at 200%. And here you go. So again, this is the uh, overview plot, like the full 100 plus um, meters. And then you can see the, the, the zoom, okay? You can see the zoom uh, 25, uh, now we're up to 50, uh, now we're up to 75. And then, you know, the little bit at the end. So this looks a little bit bigger because we ran out, right? There's, there's you know, there's not that 25 uh, meters across. Um, so that's that. Then you can see here is the uh, WRR. Um, and again, you, you can see the, the saved slider values, etc., the lay length, um, all that stuff. Um, and then the zooms on the WRR again, the final one here. And then finally, the histogram, the overview plot. And then finally, the zooms uh, for the histogram. Uh, there's the 25, there's the 50, 
there's the 75 and then the last bit. And then finally, the inspection as a function of time. Um, and again, we're just going to do that for, for this first chart. So there's the overview and then there's the zooms for each of those as well. And so there you go. Um, so we just, you can see at the top, we just call it test results. Obviously, we just put it um, in, in that file um, structure. And then when you are done, um, all you need to do is hit exit and away you go. So notice because I put all of these on um, the desktop that my word appears here and then all of the uh, JPEG files, basically all the picture files. So again, if you, you know, you don't need these here. So once you've captured them in Word, you literally can just go in and, and just start like deleting these. Um, I, I basically, I, I want those available if you want them, but you know, just kind of clean up. And, and what I would say is just, you know, so here, here's your report. And again, just to show you, you know, double click it right here and there it is, okay? So I will close out of this now and that will complete this uh, video. So thank you for your time. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. Thank you. We hope you found this presentation interesting. Thank you for your attention.